This is Inside Texas Politics with Jason Whiteley on WFAA. Time now for Reporters Roundtable to put the headlines in perspective. Bud and Alana are back with us, and Bernadine Steptoe, Channel 8's political producer, joins us here each week as well. We're going to talk about Tuesday's runoff in this segment here, too. Let's break it down. Alana, you first, talking about the big Democratic race, the big statewide race, Andrew White versus Lupe Valdez. What do you expect to see? How it's going to play out? Well, uh, White has a lot more money on hand, and he just announced yesterday that he's doing a big uh, campaign uh, TV ad buy here in Austin, uh, running ads through Tuesday. But, you know, the biggest uh, money player in this race, of course, is the sitting governor, Governor Greg Abbott, who is running a lot of attack ads on Lupe Valdez. And, of course, that's getting her name out there more. Not a lot of, you know, energy. We've had a debate uh, in the last week, but it was on a Friday night, uh, you know, and not televised yeah. statewide. So, it you know these last few days or 48 hours or so will be pivotal and is this dallas versus houston because as alana said not a lot of energy in this race i don't think i don't see anything close about this race i mean houston was for white but nowhere else in the state was valdez carried austin san antonio, antonio dallas terrence strongly uh, you know, she had a, a, a good lead after the first round, and I haven't seen Andrew White catch on. Nobody in Dallas Fort Worth talks about Andrew White at all. He's considered milk toast. He doesn't have the women's vote, the African American vote, the Latino vote. Who do you get for the Democratic Party? Well, and that's true. Uh, during the primary, Lupe Valdez was not the best candidate, and look where she placed. And while I see that White is increasing primarily because um, Lupe is losing endorsements, but I don't see it playing any difference, then uh, she's going to get the nomination. Let's break down some of the uh, some of the turnout we're seeing here. In Dallas County, um, Democrats are outvoting Republicans three to one. In Tarrant County, it's Republicans outvoting Democrats over there, obviously, uh, two to one. What does this turnout say about the big congressional runoffs that we're all watching? I don't think it says anything because I think primarily when you look at Dallas County, they have down the ballot very competitive races. You have the, those judicial races that are bringing people out. You have the uh, the state rep seat where uh, Helen Giddings is leaving. So that's what's turning out the turnout in Dallas County. And in um, Tarrant County, you don't have that many competitive races on the Democratic side. Well, you, you probably should look at Allred and, and Salerno are turning out a lot of the Democratic vote, too. But I think you look at the Tarrant side, you look at District 6. You have runoffs in both the Democratic and Republican races. The, uh, so far, 9,000 Republicans have voted in the runoffs in the three counties that that district covers. Joe Barton's old seat, 3,000 Democrats. So first of all, I think that it looks like, you know, Ron White and Jake Elsey are, uh, have, will have a closer race this time around. There are actually more voters in Ellis County than in Tarrant County so far. So Elsey may make a closer race. A lot I want to ask you about the Associated Republicans of Texas, the moderate group. It's spending quite a bit of money going after the, the hardline conservative groups. What's the takeaway with this? Yeah, well, uh, asking them, they say the catalyst here uh, was mainly the bathroom bill in the last session. And, you know, of course, they were uh, created in the 1970s to flip Texas red and have a history of supporting moderate Republicans. And they want to be the, the counterforce to empower Texans that supports maybe the ultra conservatives, if you will. And they've had some uh, sizable wins uh, leading up to the primary and now are heavily invested in the runoffs. But they have said also some uh, sizable losses and up in your area in the Cindy Burkett, Bob Hall race. Interesting infighting as well. Thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. And thank you for watching as well. ABC's This Week starts in just a moment. We'll see you again next Sunday. Hope you have a good week.